about this place in history, we're in Enosburg Falls and with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins, to talk about cows again. Yes, we're at the Jarvis Family Farm. We're going to be looking at the quintessential Franklin County dairy. Are you ready? Totally. Amanda, we're joined by Bob and Giselle Jarvis, and we're going to talk a little bit about the history of this farm, which really interests me. So when did you come to this land here, and how did you get started dairy farming? Well, I've been a dairy farmer all my life. I, my dad's farm was down at the end of the road just before you come to the Boston Post store down there. I was helping my dad with the fencing along the road, and... This person comes by and wants to hire me to run his farm. No, I says, uh, have the next farm I have. I says, it's going to be mine. I said, we're not going to start something for somebody else. Comes back a couple hours later. He says, you know, he says, I'll sell it to you. I says, sure. I said, I got a nickel in my pocket. We ended up making a deal. All I had to do was go tell my wife I bought a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Still married, so I guess it didn't... <laughs> Not too bad. You guys grew up on the farm. What was that like? Honestly, it was quite a bit of work when we were younger. I know one of the first jobs you started out with was taking care of the baby calves. Every morning before school, you'd take care of them. When you got home after school, you'd go over and take care of them. I think it taught us a lot of you know, important traits over the years, for sure. It just it shows you the importance of being responsible and you know, working hard. Paul took care of the baby calves replacements. I was in charge of the crops and the feeding for the cows. Clement was in charge of the, the herd management. Uh, my oldest brother, Charlie, who's now retired, was in shop, and mom and dad were overall managers and kept us going, kept us in, in line there. You know, we're looking at the next generation with Katie coming in, and, and it's a struggle because uh, uh, dairy is a tough, tough business. So now we're looking into the future. You're the youngest member of the management team. What does this farm look like going forward? Being one out of 40-something grandchildren, and I'm the only one currently on the farm that has an interest on staying on the farm, it's kind of scary. The uncles, the grandparents, they're eventually going to retire. <laughs> you know, they can't keep going. And for me to step up, technology is going to have to help me. So we're standing now in the calf barn, and it's so adorable and so cute. And I'm sure everyone at home wishes they were here, but they can be very, very soon. What's happening on Saturday, June 23rd? So we're going to host Vermont Breakfast on the farm this year, which is very exciting. It's like a huge field trip. And people get to come to the farm and see what a modern dairy farm is. So they're going to be able to play with the calves. They're going to maybe even see a newborn calf being born. They're going to see the cows being milked. They're going to see uh, manure management, uh, or digester, or separator, and a lot of other things, including dairy goats. So it's going to be really exciting. I can't wait. Hey Steve, did you know that the cows here wear fitness trackers, they wear pedometers? You can find that at mychamplainvalley.com. Tracking dairy at this place in history.